I have now installed the necessary drivers. I have connected the comp computer part, which is my ground station now, to do the setup. This is the part that will communicate from my ground station, which is my computer, to my craft with the other part of the radio, the receiving uh, part, there. Now, I don't know if the camera can get it, but um, you can see there's a green light, a fixed green light. And likewise there. Uh, that means the two units are paired and um, they function with the um, uh, frequency hopping uh, technology so it's uh, quite stable and um, there's also a red light which blinks from time to time when the two units are communicating I haven't uh, co connected them yet so they are not uh, speaking to each other but uh, we'll come to that soon as you can see my battery is connected uh, you cannot power your unit with the USB when you're setting up the radio as I said they use the same ports so you go into your uh, mission planner uh, the procedure is uh, very similar to uh, when you're connecting with the USB you um, go into your device manager you check what COM ports you are uh, on and that's I'm using USB serial port 7 so you go into your mission planner you select serial port serial port 7 sorry and uh, you set the rate to 57600 that is what is recommended uh, in the wiki and uh, I've just done that myself and I'll just click on connect and uh, see if they connect there the MAV link is there as you can see um, the two parts of the telemetry unit are speaking to each other I'll try and see if you can see the red light blinking it is blinking but um, the camera doesn't seem to the green light is actually so bright yeah there you can see the the red light blinking and it's blinking on both units indicating that um, they are speaking to each other because they're connecting and again the green light is fixed and on showing that they are paired so um, all seems to be working well my ground station part of it and my um, air part of the radio now you go into your um, what you do is I'll disconnect now I'm not connected you go into your configuration which is that tab there it, uh, you click OK now this is your 3D R radio setup screen it's within the mission planner itself and uh, under the configuration tab now you click load settings it will, in, it will load the default values and you can now work on changing them uh, from there note there are two columns this is the ground station part and this is the part of the radio on your craft so you click on load settings you can see there comes it's doing something it's uh, executing some commands and uh, yeah as you can see numbers are appearing in the columns that's the local version that's the ground station part and this is the air part the remote version of the radio now the values you have on one side will be exactly the same as the values you have on the other side in the wiki they explain what all the values are but um, they are self actually self-explanatory um, one thing to note is that the airspeed is set default to 64 they recommend you keep it at 64 if you keep it at 64 you'd have about a kilometer range for your telemetry that is actually uh, more than enough for me because when my craft is more than a kilometer away I wouldn't risk uh, controlling it with anything uh, apart from uh, my uh, uh, radio sender itself now um, you ECC is activated it's a kind of error control uh, which makes sure that the communications between the uh, two parts of the telemetry unit are uh, uh, corrected 
uh, it, could, it can send uh, corrupted uh, information from one unit to the other and this uh, kind of reduces the the, the uh, risks that those packets will be corrupted. It's explained in the wiki. The MAV link is also uh, um, ticked and op resend is ticked. This is exactly the default values I have kept. You can see I'm operating on the 433 to 434 um, uh, megahertz uh, frequencies. You can play around with this units but I suggest you leave it on default. It's been working fine on default. Uh, for me and that's it and then you, after you do that you go to save settings and click on it that will save the settings in both your um, remote part of the radio and the ground station that's the local version of the radio now uh, that's how to set up your 3d radio if we go back to um, the flight data now I click on connect like I did earlier, the two uh, units in the telemetry are speaking to each other and connecting the same way you would have done with a USB lead or um, manually connecting. Uh, this is doing so wirelessly and uh, if it connects properly you'd see your HUD uh, in real life. Yes, as you can see it's placed my location there where I live it's uh, totally wireless as you can see and my HUD is active you can see it's blinking some units are changing there and uh, I have a 3D fix inside the house that's uh, wonderful so this is how to use um, a, a computer a PC as your ground station I'll sh just show you now how to use uh, Android device, a smartphone or a tablet.